Good morning. This was the setup. It's actually noon right now. I slept right in because I was knackered after that mountain climb. I don't know if you can see through the trees over there, there's a large body of water. And that is Thurlmere Reservoir. And there's Helverlin. And right now we are in the swirls. So I slept between the reservoir and the mountain top. Really good sleep actually. The setup on this side is pretty dodgy because this is not a very strong tree. And when I get in it, I'm almost at the ground, which last night I thought was a bad thing, but I actually think it made me warmer because of the wind gradient. There's less wind very low to the ground than there is even just a meter up. So by having the hammock as low to the ground as possible without actually lying on the ground, I think that's the way you get the warmest because you still have the air between you and the ground insulating you to stop your body heat just being sucked out by the ground. But also if you're too high up, then the wind makes your underside really cold. So I think this is the perfect compromise. Oh look, it's one, two, three, four. I would like to stay here for another day or two, but I want to join the rebellion in London tomorrow. So I'm going to head home today. I need more water. It's fucking hot. Home of great water. Definitely got a bit sunburnt day before yesterday. It's just been such unbelievably amazing weather. Back to Helvel and Gill. Lovely. Pardon? No, I slept uh, over in those woods over there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've basically, I've got a hammock. You can tie it between two trees. It's really, really good. Like, so you don't have to carry a tent or anything like that. I did that yesterday. I'm actually just here to fill up my water and then I'm heading home. Oh, yeah. yeah. How about you guys? Have you just come down? Yeah. Sick. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, for he's only 10. Have a good day, lads, yeah? yeah. <sighs> nice. 20 minutes to the bus. Time for some lunch. This is probably the most trees I've looked at at one time. <laughs> There's got to be at least, at least a thousand. Your brain struggles to comprehend numbers beyond a thousand. There could be like 10,000, I really don't know. It could be anywhere between a thousand and 10,000. That's what my guess would be. But yeah, water from Helvel and Gill. Tastes amazing. That was another thing I wanted to do on this trip, was drink from a mountain spring. Successfully done that. 
got a litre and half of it in my bag. <laughs> I was so knackered yesterday after the climb. Coming down took almost two hours. I thought it would take me only about an hour and a half because it took me about three to get up there. I thought I'd be able to go down in half the time, but I was so knackered I had to keep taking breaks because my legs were just dead. But I surprisingly feel great today. I feel like I could probably climb it again if I wanted to. Nice, a little shady spot. Single to Keswick, please. Thank you, mate. Uh, Penrith, please, mate. Okay, we're back in crew and we're heading back to Tamworth. Sorry, mate. We're in Tamworth now. That's Tamworth station. Oh shit, there's apples there. I want an apple. Yes, bro, let's get some food. Right, which one should we grab? Tastes good. A little bit sour, but tastes nice. Let's grab another one for the road. Look at the castle. Good morning. Another beautiful day in Nottingham. Weather's been insane. Loving it. So as I mentioned yesterday, I'm heading towards the Animal Rights March in London. So just heading towards the train station now. Train leaves in 16 minutes. Pushing it tight. Hopefully I'll make it. A lot of police presence today.
Steven is now. Oh, fuck. The Horsham one's cancelled. No. So the train I was going to get is cancelled. I'm going to have to get the 12.05 King's Cross. Oh, it looks packed. Fuck. There's no space though. <laughs> Thank you very much. the anger, the sorrow and the grief that we feel. And we should be angry. Anger is an emotion triggered by injustice. And there is no greater injustice in size and scale and duration than that inflicted by humans on the other animals. Animals feel pain. animal suffering there cannot be there can be no compromise on that and I would say that the time has come to make that message even more loud and clear and that's exactly what's happening at MBR Acres now the people there are determined that this battle line will not be given up no matter what they do drag us through the High Court arrest us do whatever you like but we will not turn our backs on those dogs we will not let them down <laughs> Feeling this movement has taught me anything over the last 40 years, it's taught me not to lose faith. And there's plenty of times where I could have done, there are plenty of times when it felt dark. When I came out of prison, I was on license and I couldn't talk to anyone or do anything. But I'm back again. I'm back again because I'm proud of the animal rights movement. I believe in what you're all doing. I believe we can win this. And we have to stand together to achieve that end. Do not be divided. Do not listen to those who try and divide us. If anyone says it's a waste of time, fuck you. Get up and do something. Don't tell us it's a waste of time. Do something. Ask now. Those people at MBR don't care what race you are. They don't care what gender you are. 
They don't care who you identify as. What they want and what all these animals need is liberation. And you are the people that will deliver that liberation. Thank you.